Hey, Plymouth, good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be in the next edition of our goalie videos. As after getting Matt Murray, the Toronto Maple Leafs also now are going to sign Ilya Samsonov for one year, 1.8 mil, um, according to Frank Cervale. Ilya Samsonov is, of course, coming off of a down season with the Washington Capitals, but has been for. Other than last year, most of his career, at least a solid starting level goaltender. He first came in, and that's when he really wowed us when he first came in. But since then, he hasn't necessarily wowed us yet. But to me, he definitely is a guy that is a good goaltender to have to mix in with Matt Murray up there because you need to have more stability than just Matt Murray, obviously, if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs, as Murray is a big question mark that they were able to get um, along with picks because they tried to reaccumulate picks as they got Murray the third and the seventh. But I do think this trade makes sense for them because they have Sam Sonoff for one year at 1.8, so they have an affordability goalkeep there that honestly I think has a chance to be good in 30 to 40 games, and that's huge for you at 1.8 million. And then Murray, the big thing is, is he going to be able to get back into the right mentality? It seemed like he was getting there at the end of last year. Now let's see if this full offseason, starting with a new club, he definitely needed a fresh situation. He's going to get that. So this tandem, if they're able to bring it together and Sheldon Keefe is able to figure this out, has a good chance to be successful. I honestly think from the onset, because like I said in the Murray video, I like that from the fact that they had to bring in more picks, Toronto, and they're just taking a chance on Matt Murray who has two more years in his contract. And if he plays even decent in 30 to 35 games, you just had to have another goaltender that could also do that. Well, now they do in Ilya Samsonov. So I think these two guys can fit together potentially well. I do think if I had to pick off of the jump, who has the better chance to honestly emerge and play more games, I would think that is the youngster, Sam Sonoff. He's just entering his prime. He came off of one really down year. I think he's going to really want to reprove himself in a contract year, where Murray at this point is really just trying to fully refine his game, and therefore I feel might not necessarily get the over length of games that we first thought when that trade initially happened, now that Toronto has Sam Sonoff. So for that reason too, I would have to give this move in the A- minus category for Toronto because it is a it is really a risk, but it's a risk having both of those. Cap-wise, it's not much of a risk because you're only paying your goaltenders a total of, I think it's 6.487. But it's a risk having a guy that's coming over a down season in Sam Sonoff who's still just entering his prime age and Murray who's been lost since going to Ottawa. So now we're going to have to see what Murray's able to do in Toronto, and what Sam Sonoff is able to do in a new setting as well. Both of these guys seem to need a new setting. They got it. Now it's going to be able to see what they can do in Toronto. Please do subscribe down below. Above on the easy dudes widgets, keep the channel growing to the next goal of 300 or more.